Hello everyone! There is thousands of words in VRChat. But have you ever thought about creating your own word? It's quite simple, and in this video I will show you step by step how to install Unity, which is a software needed to create and upload words and avatars. And also, I will create a simple word and upload it into VRChat with you. I hope you will enjoy it. So, well, let's go then! In first step, you have to visit VRChat documentation website. There is a bunch of information about Unity version and more. I will leave you a link in the description. Click right on click here to install a Unity Hub and open it in New Tab. In a New Tab on the Unity website, click right green button with Download Unity Hub. Now you have to install it. Run the downloaded file, confirm any Windows permission request, and go through the installation process. Your Unity Hub should run right after installation. Now you have to log in into your Unity account. If you don't have one, you can create it here or log in with Facebook or Gmail account. Before you will be able to do anything in Unity, you have to make sure that you have active Unity license. Click on a gear in the top right, from left menu pick License Management, then activate new license. We want to use Unity Personal and we don't use Unity in professional capacity. Now we can install current Unity version for VRChat in our Unity Hub. Let's go back on a VRChat documentation website and click click here to install the current version of Unity via Unity Hub. Your browser should ask you to open Unity Hub, so click open Unity Hub. Now we can decide which extra models we want to install. In this situation, I will install Android Build Support because Android is basically Oculus Quest in this situation. And we want to create words with Quest compatibility. Now we have to wait for Unity to be downloaded. After downloading and installing Unity, we have to create new project. Let's go to Projects and create new project. Make sure your template is 3D and we can put our project name here and also we can change location of our files. After creating, our new project should start in Unity. If Windows will ask you about some permission in the meantime, just accept it. Congratulations, that's your first Unity project. Now we have to add something really important, which is VRChat SDK free. To download it, we have to go to VRChat.com and log in into our account. On the left menu, click download and then download SDK free words. With this file, we have to go back to our Unity and on our asset list, right mouse click, import package, custom package, and we have to select the file we just downloaded from vrchat.com. Now, few seconds of waiting, and in this video, we should click import, then wait a bit again, and everything should be fine for now. Remember that it might take a little bit longer for you. Now, I will add some object to create a floor. Let me do it pretty quick, done. Now, on the floor, we can put very important object which is VRChat Word. This object is in Assets, VRChat Examples, Prefabs. Basically, this object is just our spawn point. I will put it on the center of the floor. I will add some mirror and a chair here. Don't worry that I'm not showing you step by step how to put a mirror and a chair here, because basically VRChat SDK mirror and a chair, they are not the best one. So I will show you how to do it in the future videos. For this example video, I will change the sky for some skybox from Asset Store. I think that's all in a Unity editor, but now we have to change some settings in a VRChat SDK control panel. So let's click VRChat SDK on the top and show control panel. Now you have to sign in with your VRChat account. Remember, not Quest or Steam account, but VRChat account. Now you have to check if you are allowed to publish Word. If you are not, you might have to wait a bit and gain some rank in VRChat. Then you should be able to do it. Now we have to go to Builder tab and click Set of Layers for VRChat. Same with Set Collision Matrix. So now we can test this Word in a VRChat. To do it, just click Build and Test. But before, you can change numbers of clients, so basically how many instances of VRChat you will run. If you want to test something with more than one user, you can just put there 2 or 10, it doesn't actually matter. You can also decide here if you want to test it in VR mode or on a PC version. So yes, let's go, let's test this word in a VRChat. Let's hit the button Build and Test and we have to wait some time right now.
As you can see, everything works perfectly fine, except the chair, which is broken by default. But yes, everything is here, and that's our first functioning work. So I think that it is time to publish it. We have to go back to our Unity. So let's close via chat and in via chat SDK control panel, click build and publish for Windows. Yes, now we have to wait one more time. <laughs> Don't worry. That's not the last time because there is a lot of waiting in a Unity. After building our world, we have to set up all configuration for it. So world name, player capacity, description, tags, and also we have to confirm that we have a rights to upload this content and that we'll publish this into community labs before it will be public. Okay, let's upload it and let's wait a bit more. Finally, content successfully uploaded. Let's check it on a VRChat website. Yes, we have our world here, but it is a bit different than my last one. As you can see, there is only a PC support and we have to fix it. We have to upload quest version of our world. Let's go back to unit and in VRChat SDK control panel, we have to click switch build target to Android. Of course, don't worry, it will only take some time. Now, if everything looks normal in editor, you can click build and publish for Android. And during this process, I have to say a few things about quest support. Every time you change something in your world, you have to upload it to Windows and to Android. If you forget Android someday, quest user will be able to see you in a world. They will be able to talk with you, but they will see the last version of your world. So you have to remember about it. But also you can add some changes only for or Quest or PC users because your word don't have to be exactly the same word for each of them. Now again, after building our word, we don't have to put all those informations because this form was completed before. Now we have to confirm that we have rights to upload this content and we can upload it. So let's go. And again, content successfully uploaded. Now we can check it one more time on a VRChat website. And yes, our world is now quest compatible. Let me show you this world now in a VR chat, but in a VR. Great. Now I'm here in our first simple VR chat world. I know there's nothing but this chair and a mirror, but don't worry, we'll be adding more elements here during the next tutorials from Unity. What's your opinion about it? Was it difficult for you or not really? Let me know. And also, if you have any questions, if you want me to explain something about VRChat words, feel free to comment, I will do my best to help you. I guess that's all in this video. Comment, like and subscribe, and as always, see you soon in the future videos. Bye guys! Give me that camera, give me that camera. It's me, Richard. Look at this desk. Look at it. Money. GeForce RDX. Here, here, everywhere. I would love to live like that, but it is not possible. Bro. 10k, 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 10k. Is that a fucking Mr. Beast desk? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, that's a good yeah. Shh.